Right, I'm recording right now. I'm going to do a video of my Emerson Masterpiece 1895 series. Um, this is like the uh, high end version of the 1895. And I'll give you a little close up of the nose here. It says Emerson 1895 Series Masterpiece Edition. And uh, close up of the ornate sideband. There's a little bit of the top of the motor right there. Generic canopy. I think this is like one of the uh, later 1895s. I don't want to say this fan was manufactured circa 1988. And uh, the ornate part is the sideband. And if you notice, badges on the blades. I guess I'll have to turn the lights on, but um, it's got a 5 light kit, which I added. But before I do anything, before I operate anything on the fan, it's powered by a remote control. It only has one, two, three buttons. And uh, this bottom one powers the light. I need to turn it on first. My bad. Okay, click. That means it's on. Okay. Now let's power on. And uh, can you see the badges now? And that did not come with the fan. That came off of Alaska turn of the century. And um, if you notice the blades, these are Alaska blades. Let me add some more so you can see the blade. stencil on the, on the other side, but I prefer plain. So the blaze and the uh, badges are not original to the fan. Okay, light is, now it's being dimmed. Bright. Dim. And I think we'll turn off the light. And I'm not sure if this uh, light fitter has like the three settings, but you can't control it with uh, via the remote. Like, if you know what I mean, like middle, surrounding, all. I had so all five would be engaged. So, and um, there's some instructions on the back of this remote. It says uh, speed selection. Um, short pulse, high, medium, low, off, and uh, fan reverse, long pulse, five seconds, reverse airflow, so it is reversible. I've only had this on downdraft, so um, I think it starts out high, medium, low, so I'm going to sequence it through the speeds a little differently than I would on my norm, that I would normally do on my other videos, so, okay, let's... Rev it up. Is this button? It's going to start out on high. It has that, um, has a slight hum as do most Emerson 1895s. medium a little bit of a shake on medium but that's concerned about. At least it's not going all over the place, but try it on low.
I mean, if there's any way to um, cycle it through low, medium, high, as opposed to high, medium, low, I mean, let me know. I'd be willing to learn that. Now, this is an awesome fan, by the way. I really, really love it. It's one of the best 1895s I, ha I have. I mean, I've had, yeah. And like I said, those badges on the, like with the blades and the badges, they make it more reminiscent of the, uh, that ornate 1895 that I showed you in another video. I think we'll power it down. At least I thought I powered it down. Bear with me, folks. I mean, it's winter time out here, and I haven't really revved it up much. You know. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that normally this, these um, masterpiece 1895s, they came with more. Uh, Key Largo shaped, Key Largo tip blades, and uh, they don't have those badges. Like I said, the blades and badges are not stock, but I'd say they look pretty good. And I always prefer 1895s with these uh, Lasco tip blades. It's got a real long spin down time, which is a good thing. Since this is a uh, remote control fan, I will not be doing a spin down race with the background hunter, which is uh, running in reverse right now, as you can tell. fantasy stop operation and uh, you're probably wondering why it has the blades and badges it does and not the stock well you know the collector I got it from on trade well he tinkered around with it and put these blades on it not that it's a bad thing not that there's anything wrong with it I mean I actually like it but you know I would like to acquire one with the uh, original blades intact but what we're going to do now is show you how to reverse this fan. Okay. Long pulse for five seconds. Let's try it, shall we? Okay. Is it? Is it? It's going to spin down before it goes in the opposite direction. Is it? Is it?
like it's uh, spun down actually. Let's try it again. That's not how you do it. Now let's try it. I think you hold down the uh, middle button to reverse it. Now it's spinning down. Hurt click. So let's try it now. Press the uh, middle button and now let's uh, see reverse. Oh, sweet. Now it's finally running in reverse. That's a little bit more of a wobble. Now you get to see it in reverse. It was a little tricky, but I did it. Thank you for your patience, for those of you who watched the whole video. But, I think we will power it down. Okay everybody, this concludes our broadcast day, and thank you for watching, more to come.